What's up? This is Dr. Taylor Crick at the Washington Wellness Center, and today's video is on the vagus nerve stimulation in the brain. So we're going to review some really interesting studies on anxiety and fear and depression and just some really cool brain things. So if you're not familiar with what I'm referring to, we have some other videos about some other research studies and about some other, you know, how-tos but the vagus nerve so what is the vagus nerve so the vagus is the main parasympathetic nerve in your body it connects your brain stem to your gut and your liver and your spleen and your autonomic your heart your lungs your autonomic functions and it's the parasympathetic nerve so it's the relaxation nerve it's the opposite of fight or flight which is more the stress side of your nervous system or the gas pedal the vagus is more like the brake pedal, the parasympathetic side of things. So activating the vagus is, uh, it has phenomenal effects. It has effects on uh, things like pain modulation. It has effect on stress response. It has an effect on the brain like we're going to cover today. So we cover some of these things in some of our other videos and how you can use a TENS unit, a handheld little TENS unit on the outside of your ear to stimulate the vagus nerve. The outside of the ear is the only place that the vagus nerve travels on the exterior of the body. So you can go back and you can check out some of those other videos. We have an ebook that you can download and you know we get questions about it all the time and people are dying for more info on vagus nerve stimulation. I think people want more how to, but the how to is kind of play around with it and see how you feel uh, outside of the, the recommendations that I've already given, that's a good baseline for how to set your unit. But try some different things and we'll do some other videos maybe on some other little hacks through there. But this is more about some studies on the vagus nerve, on auricular vagus nerve or transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation in the brain that I think are really, really cool. I did another video recently too called uh, something about the cell danger response. So when your cells sense danger, when your cells sense fear, when your cells sense you know, a perceived danger or a real danger, they do certain metabolic things. Inflammation goes up, vitamin D goes down, methylation goes down, um, neurotransmitter metabolism gets messed up, anxiety happens, in, uh, neuroinflammation, uh, magnesium wasting, uh, glutathione wasting, microbiome and gut imbalances. All these things happen when your cells sense danger. And that danger can be real or that danger can be perceived like a mental danger. So the whole point is that we have this mind-body approach. And so the vagus nerve and this vagus nerve stimulation is something that we've always taught even for, for the body approach, you know, to help motility, to help calm down the parasympathetic nervous system. But these studies are really cool about how it helps some conditions of the mind, some psychological conditions, and just different things that are rampant today like anxiety and depression. So without further ado, let's look at some of these papers. So first one, from neurobi the neurobiology of learning and memory, 2019. The effect, this is just a title, the effect of transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation on fear generalization and subsequent fear extin extinction. And this one I just put the title, but that's just one of them that's out there because I just wanted to share that these papers are out there. And with all of them, you know, I'm not doing like a super deep dive. We're looking at mostly at the abstracts and some quotes, uh, but not like a full literature review of, you know, their, their methods and all those things. But the next one is a randomized controlled trial from the same paper, The Neurobiology of Learning and Memory from 2016. The effects of transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation on conditioned fear extinction in humans. So this is like how quickly you can make fear extinct. Like if you get scared or if you're fearful of something, how quickly do you get rid of that feeling? So a critical component of the treatment for anxiety disorders is the extinction of fear via repeated exposures to the feared stimulus. This process is strongly dependent on successful memory formation and consolidation. 
Stimulation of the vagus nerve enhances memory formation in both animals and humans. The objective of this study was to assess whether uh, TVNS can accelerate extinction of or or retention of fear in fear conditioned humans. So then we're gonna there's a little bit about the responses or, or the um, the methods and some things, but going down here these findings complement. These findings complement recent studies that suggest vagus nerve stimulation could be a promising tool to improve memory consolidation and fear extinction. So pretty cool. So something that's pretty inexpensive that you can sit and do at home for 20 minutes that's harmless could, uh, uh, studies suggest, multiple studies suggest, that it could be a promising tool to improve memory consolidation and fear extinction. Here's another one. Uh, another randomized controlled study from Biological Psychology, 2019. Transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation reduces spontaneous but not induced negative thought intrusions in high worriers. So they took high worriers and they gave them vagus nerve stimulation and it reduced their spontaneous negative thoughts. So their negative thoughts that just hit them out of nowhere not their induced negative thoughts. So when they induced a negative thought, it, it kind of stuck around and the, the vagus nerve stimulation didn't reduce that, but the spontaneous, the amount of worrisome thoughts that came in. So here's what they say. So worrying is a central component of anxiety disorders. We tested whether this vagus nerve stimulation would reduce negative thought intrusions in high worriers. Worry was assessed with all this stuff, 97 high worriers did this or some of them did a sham stimulation. Participants who received the vagus nerve stimulation had significantly fewer uh, negative thought intrusions during the pre-worry period, but effects after the worry induction were mixed. Down here it says these findings provide pre preliminary indications that this transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation may decrease the occurrence of worrisome thoughts. So really, really cool, fear and worry, two major causes of anxiety, could be helped through this transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation uh, that's really inexpensive and easy. Here's one from the Journal of Affective Disorders, uh, transcutane 2016. Transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation modulates amygdala functional connectivity in patients with depression. And I can't remember if this is the same one, We'll find out, I guess. We see the abstract. But I think it was they did uh, they did a functional MRI while they were doing vagus nerve stimulation to see which areas of the brain lit up. So the tra so the va vagus nerve stimulation it modulates the functional connectivity in the amygdala in patients with depression. So it says the amygdala is a key region in emotion processing. And studies have suggested that amygdala frontal connectivity deficits could be modulated by antidepressants in major depressive disorder. Transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation, a non-invasive thing done on the ear, has shown promising results in treating major depressive disorder in several pilot studies. So there's a lot of studies that show that it could be good in, in uh, you know, treating major depressive disorder. So I only picked, you know, I cherry picked just a handful of these studies. I didn't, this isn't a full literature review. However, the neural mechanisms aren't, aren't fully investigated. So in this one, they looked at, through uh, MRI, they looked at how this connectivity kind of happened uh, in the brain here. So the results after one month, oh no, this wasn't that one, excuse me. The, I guess they just did look at, I, I don't think, anyway because they did it for a month. After one month of this treatment, their Hamilton depression rating scale scores were reduced significantly in the group that did the treatment as compared with the sham group. Um, and the conclusions are that the, this vagus nerve stimulation can modulate this particular connectivity from the amygdala to the lateral prefrontal in patients. So it talks about how some of the mechanisms of how this vagus nerve stimulation has been shown to be beneficial for major depressive disorder patients. The next one shows a different mechanism, but transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation 
modulates the default mode network in major depressive disorder. This is from Biological Psychiatry, um, 2016. Uh, so depression is the most common form of mental disorder in the community and healthcare settings, and current treatments are far from satisfactory. Vagus nerve stimulation, meaning like invasive vagus nerve stimulation, is an FDA-approved somatic treatment for treatment-resistant depression. However, the involvement of surgery, blah, 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 transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation is a relatively new non-invasive method based on the rationale that there is vagus nerve distribution on the surface of the ear. The safe and low cost characteristics of this treatment have the potential to significantly expand the application of vagus nerve. That's the background. So the results, after one month of doing this treatment, their Hamilton depression rating scores reduced significantly as compared to the sham group. Their blah, 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 and their blah, blah, blah decreased, uh, which is their connectivity and different things. Um, and all these are associated with reduction in depression scores. So just some really, really cool studies, if nothing else, just some really interesting things. And, and I, those are just a fraction of them. I really had to cut myself off. I made this PowerPoint once and then I added some more to it and then I took some out uh, because there's a ton of studies and I've got like, you know, 20 different ones pulled up on my computer right now and there's a ton more out there and there's a ton more coming out. Um, about how this cheap and easy method can do so much for your health because it's the relaxation nerve, because it is the parasympathetic nerve, because it's the gut brain connection nerve, modulates pain, modulates depression, modulates so many different things. So go back and check out those other videos and there will be more to come on vagus nerve, but don't ask me when they're coming because they're coming really soon.